I'm going to create a new project. So I go to the first path and I browse. So I'm going to select the kick drum, the snare, clap, hi-hat. Some percussions. So I'm going to start the sequence adding the kick drum. And the following is the clap. And I can add a variation playing on the pads. Now the following is the hi-hat. And here I have a shaker loop. To add a little groove, I'm going to turn off the quantize, so then I can do like a more human touch. On the shaker loop, there is like a low sound. So what I'm going to do now on this loop is I'm going to add a high pass filter. There is no more low sound percussion. So it's, it fits better with the, the whole beat. Okay, I'm ready to add some harmony, some chords. Okay, so now I'll go to scale. And now if I go to playback, I can select the scale that I want to play. So let's try how it works. Okay. I'm going to turn down a little bit the volume. Okay, so now that we have the beats and the chords progression, I'm going to add a bass line. And for that, I'm going to use the AS1. Uh, I need to set two, two channels on the SP16. One is going to be the MIDI that is going to send the, the notes to the AS1, and the other one is going to be a line in channel, which is going to receive the signal, the audio signal from the AS1 into the SP16. So I'm on a scale mode on track 10, and here I have all the notes from the AS1. So now we have the bass line, and I want to record this into the SP16. So on track 11, I have line in. So I'm going to sample it now. Okay. So now I have to load the sample into the channel 11. So I have to change the kind of, uh, of track. And now I have to load my bass line. Okay, so now it's already being played. I'm going to adjust a little bit the groove of the bass line because I feel that it's a little bit too fast. So here on sequence, that is the offset. I think it's good now. So the next step, what I want to do is to add something like an arpeggio or sequence that I can play from the Torais AS1 